All right, welcome back to Dada Mass Concepts. What we're looking at today is a performance task for grade five or grade six, right? For PEP. So let's go through. With performance tasks, what we want to do is to read situations and um, follow up on the questions, right? Um, it says, a um, Farmer Ben plants peppers on a small piece of land that measured 18 meters by nine meters. And we're seeing the measurement um here so we're seeing the measurements here we're seeing the measurements there right it says each pepper tree is given a space of one square meters to grow properly so for these peppers to grow properly everybody has to get their own little box all right so they were planting peppers there there and so on and so on so everybody would have their own space, their own little boxes already worked out, right? Mm -hmm. So that is going to be um, how the peppers will be planted, as you can see. Now, let's look on the first question, right? The qu first question says, oh, what is the maximum number of pepper trees that, Mr. Uh, that former Ben can plant? The maximum number of peppers that can be planted, as you could see, will be depending on the dimensions that you have and based on the ideas. So based on the dimension that we have, we have an 18 by nine. So you're seeing 18 here by nine. So then we are able to tell the total area of this plot of land in square meters. All right, each tree will be given one. So basically all we have to do is to find the total right uh area of this plot of land by simply multiplying because this is a rectangular plot of land so the it's a rectangle so basically we want to find the area of the rectangle that you're seeing and area of rectangle is always length times width which is it's going to be 18 meters times nine meters right so you want to multiply 18 by nine you're going to get 162 square meters right and it is written like that so it simply means that you'll find 162 squares right to be planted on and every tree we need one so this is the the interpretation the maximum number of pepper trees so we could say the total number of pepper trees is 162. So it's 162 trees because each tree will take one square meter. On question two here. So question two says each pepper tree um, always produce six peppers given that he used up all the space how many peppers will he harvest all right so we're looking at the fact that we have 162 trees right and then each one of these trees will be producing six peppers so now you could see how many peppers that he's going to get all right so we multiply the six times the number of trees, and you're getting 972 peppers. All right, so you will be picking 972 peppers uh, ready to be sold. Peppers are sold at a local market in two categories. Category A, as you can see here, it's $200 per dozen. Category B, $140 per three quarter of a dozen, right? So um, we need to firstly set aside what is a dozen, what is three quarters of a dozen. So category A, um, one dozen is 12. And for category B, three quarters of a dozen is actually nine, right? So we're talking about nine over here. So what we want to do is to we're gonna we're gonna work both, see what's going on, and then we're gonna decide which would have been best for him, right? 
So let us look on category A, because you want to know which one you should choose to make the maximum profit. So um, you want to know how many dozen you can get from 972. So we're going to divide 972 by 12 to find out how many groups of 12 we will get. And this would have given us 81. So we have 81 groups or sets of 12, right? So we have 81 groups of 12. But remember now, the, in terms of the money, it's $200 for every set of 12. So the amount of money will equal to 81 times 200. This is equal to 16,200. So in category A, if he goes to category A and he's selling them in sets of 12, he's going to be making 16,200. He's collecting that. For category B, we want to know, right? How many sets of nines can you get from this 972? So we have to divide this by nine. And we're getting 108 groups, we're getting a lot more groups. But we still can't just use the number of groups. We're going to have to put the money to it. It's $140 per group. So it's going to be 108 times 140. So we want to multiply that by 140. And if he's setting them in sets of nines at 140, he's going to be making 15 $1,120. So when you observe this amount and this amount, it is better for him, right? It is better for him to choose category A. So let us conclude that category A, category A, is a better deal for him. All right? So if he sells under the condition of category A, he's going to be making more money. So the last question, as you could see here, says something. It says, if he spent $8,100 in total to produce his, his crop, so whether it is on fertilizer, um, insecticides, pesticides to get the place clean, water and everything comes up to $8,100. What is the profit he made as a percentage of the cost to him? So they want to know the profit percentage. There is a formula for profit as a percentage. So the profit percentage is going to be the profit over the original cost all right, so the original cost of the person, and you multiply this by 101. So if you want to know the profit that he made as a percentage, you need to know what the profit is, all right? So let us look on what the profit is. The profit is going to be, after he has sold it for 16200 you need to take from it what it costs him, right? So when you subtract this, we are getting 8100 as well. So the profit he made was that 8,100. So it's, it's, it's like he doubled the money that he had. But remember the profit, you have to take away what you spent to know the extra. So the extra that you made is your profit. So this is what they want us to represent now as a percentage. So the profit percentage is going to be that 8,100 over the original cost, which was 8,100 as well, because that's what they said it cost him. And then you multiply this by 100. You cancel your seed here that he actually made 100%. That is why he doubled his money. He made a 100% profit by selling those peppers. It seems as if the pepper is a very good deal. All right. All right. Thank you for watching Delimax Concepts. See you next time when we do another performance stars video.